Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with my review video. And this review video is the Chicago Bears Denver Broncos game. Let's get started. Um, this game, like I said um, earlier in my previous video, it was going to be a close game. It was a close game. It was a good game. I give it that. It was a good game. But we shot ourselves in the foot again. Fucking Mary and fucking Barber. What the fuck? Were you thinking? We had the chance to ice the game. You got out of you were you went out of bounds. That is that's smart football 101. When you're told in football if you want to ice the time, don't go out of bounds. Stay in bounds. And in, uh, now, in overtime, you fumble the football. What the fuck? Anyway, I know this is going to be a very pissed tirade that I'm doing. But I am so pissed right now. And, and I know by, by a hunch now, our playoff chances are probably out the window now. Because of this, because of this loss, now we're on the outside looking in now in the playoff picture because Detroit won today and Atlanta won today. <laughs> and that what did it? The Bears are on the outside in. We got four, we got three games left. We have three games left. We got Seattle, then we got Green Bay and Minnesota. Could we win the next three games? We don't, I don't even know. It's how the Bears has been playing. Mike Martz and the Bears offense, they played good for the first, for the first three quarters of the game. They played excellent football. They, they ran the ball a lot. I was impressed. We had a 10 point lead. And then they're going to say, oh, look, it's the magical T-Bow. The magical T-Bow run. The Bears should have not have done what they did on defense. They just allowed, they just gave up the yardage to get them to give away a touchdown. They just gave it away. And now, we got to hear this whole Tim Tebow this, Tim Tebow that. Well, pretty much for the three quarters, the Bears basically shut down the Denver Broncos. It was just the conservative play calling by... By the Bears on defense that allowed them to get the score. And on offense, the Bears, when we had the lead, when we got the ball back, we were too conservative. I could understand why you want to be conservative. You want to run the clock. I know that. But Marion Barber messed it up for the Bears today. This is on Marion fucking Barber. If Marion Barber didn't. Get out of bounds. The Bears would have not have gone into overtime. And if he didn't fumble the football, we would have probably gotten a game-winning field goal. It could have been a possibility. So anyway, let's go over the statistics for today. For the Bears overall today, Caleb Haney was all right. He, he was so so he was 12 and 19 for 115 yards. He didn't do it through any turnover. He didn't throw any pit. I was happy that he didn't throw any picks. I was happy. Let's see. Carter had uh, 27 carries, 108 yards with the one and the one rushing touchdown. <laughs> Bill Bell had uh, nine attempts for 40 yards. Uh, for receiving wise, Johnny Noss was the lead receiver of three catches for seven yards. Uh, Robbie Gold was 1-1. One one. He kicked the 57-yard field goal. That was the uh, longest, uh, longest in Bears history. So I give him that. Um, <laughs> other than that, the Bears just basically were too conservative on offense today. Let's go over to Denver Broncos. Team Tebow was 21-40, 236 yards with the one touchdown and the one pick. He didn't get those numbers until to the fourth quarter when the Bears played too conservative on defense. 
for running wise, they they managed to t ball to only 49 yards rush rushing. That was all right. Um, receiving wise, uh, that Thomas has seven catches for 78 yards and a touchdown. Um. Any other bright spots for Denver? Um, what I can see uh, were those, uh, the, the, the Prado was two or three out of the field goals. Get that 59 yarder that send the game into overtime. And, uh, uh, the Bears got two turnovers today. We gave up one on that, uh, Marion Barber. <clears throat> we still won the turnover battle and we still lost the game. That's very rare that when that happens, when you win the turnover battle, you normally don't don't lose the game. But it did happen. <clears throat> and now we are on the outside looking in. What can we do as the Bears? What can they do to get back? Because now we got to get some help now in order for him trying to make the playoffs. We're 7-6. We got three games left. We got Seattle next week. And now what? What in the hell are we going to do next week? At least one of the bright spots that they uh, said on the announcers today that uh, Kayla, that, uh, not Kayla, baby, uh, Jay Cutler threw the ball a little bit. All right, Jay Cutler is slowly but surely he's trying to get back with this loss. Hopefully, we can get at least get Matt Forte if he can come back. That's the only way how this can set we can salvage this. Salvage this season for the remainder three games. You know, we were too conservative today. I thought it was a good game plan, but <clears throat> Marion fucking Barber, you cost us this game. You can't understand how pissed off I am right now. Now we're on the outside looking in. It can't happen like that. You know, we should if we, I know what the injury was a setback for Jay Cutler. I know we lost Man Forte. Two important keys to our offense. So now what we got to do is I don't know what, what the hell we're going to do now. We lost three straight games. <coughs> we should have won this damn game today. It's all Mary and fucking Barber's fault. That cost us this damn game. We only can hope that next week that Mary and Barber doesn't fuck up next week against Seattle. That's what I'm hoping. So anyway, this tirade has gone on longer than I thought. I had to get my expression across. I am very pissed off right now. Um, I'll be posting my preview video later on in the week for, for the Seattle game. You guys can be expecting that. I'm so pissed off right now. That is it. This is the game is on 100. I am out later.